G'day guys, Pix Pix Tools, great to see you here again. Suppose you're wondering why I'm throwing this drill chuck around. I was using it the other day and the bloody thing fell off and hit me in the hand and it really hurt, eh? So uh, every now and then this thing just falls off when I'm using it and it just starts to really wind you up. So I decided the other day I better fix the bloody thing properly. Mind you, it's an old drill, it's about as old as I am, about 150 years, you know how it is guys. But uh, I was thinking maybe you guys might have the same trouble. Um, there's nothing worse, eh? it's really, really annoying and it's quite dangerous too if it hits you. They're quite heavy, these things. Anyway, guys, remember if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. And I'll show you what I did to fix this old drill of mine, guys. So as you can see, guys, there's my old drill press. It's about as old as me, but never mind, it still does the job. But, uh, yeah, have you ever had this happen to you? Minding your own business, you're drilling your bloody, drilling your holes and your steel. And that happens. And it sucks, because nine times out of ten, you can guarantee that the bloody thing will fall off and it'll either hit you in the foot or it'll hit you in the hand or something. And this is quite heavy. When it drops directly on your hand, it really, really hurts and it just starts to really annoy me. So uh, anyway, I couldn't figure out how to keep the bloody thing in there. And uh, This is pretty old, this drill. Um, I think most of them now like, have a morse taper in there. And uh, it's pretty easy to reset them, but I don't even know if this is a morse taper or what it is. But it's, uh, it's pretty ugly anyway, it's on a taper, but yeah. Anyway, so what I figured out to do was this. So there's a lot of crap on the shaft here, guys. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's full of rubbish. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the shaft off, and then I'll clean the inside of the, uh, the old chuck, and then we'll try and push it back up and see if it still, uh, still doesn't hold or it does hold or whatever it does. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. So I'm just using an engine degreaser for this guys, uh, nothing special, if you've got any thinners or something lying around your workshop or anything like that, just use that, just if it evaporates really quick would be even better, but I just use what I've got, so we'll, we'll stick that on there, and we'll give them a bit of a, give them a bit of a clean up. As this is as old as the hills like I am, it's actually got quite a few marks on the shaft here, so it may not even seat properly again, it might just always fall out, but we'll try. You can see there's, there's quite a few marks in there and you can actually feel it with your fingernail. Um, I don't know if you guys have got drills this old, but you know, I like to keep things going. I'm as cheap as chips, Pete, you know me. And I like to keep things going for as long as possible. So anyway, we'll clean that up. And so then I've got the chuck, and the chuck's got crap in it there as well, so we'll spray some stuff in there. And um, I'll uh, wipe it out with my old uh, trusty ragus, my rag. Tip the excess stuff out of it first. Because uh, what I believe with this, guys, is it's got to be really clean for it to for it to seat again. And that might be right for a new drill, but well, like I say, this is old. But we'll uh, I'll try and get the best out of this as I can, as we normally do. Because you know me, cheapest chips, Pete. I like to get the best out of my gear for as long as possible. Like I say, this this drill cost me a this drill press cost me a really fortune. I think it was ten bucks, and I probably had four years use out of it so far. So we're not doing too bad, even if I can't get the thing to go properly. So anyway, what we'll do is, the theory is, you put that up there like that, and push it up, like so. See there, it's, it's seating a little bit better now, just so it holds it there. And then what you do guys, get a bit of scrap wood or something, and hold it on there like that, and give the thing a, a belt from the bottom. try and seat it in there and then we'll see if we can actually turn the thing on and it won't fall out again so let's have a go so let's have a go guys see if that's fixed it so i belted it up there a little bit with a bit of wood so we'll see how we go yeah oh shit well that's quite clever isn't it well that didn't work did it so what's the next plan pete it must be that this is quite worn and i think the chuck is quite worn as well so i've got another trick up my sleeve just bear with me guys it was a little bit unconventional but anyway this is what i'm going to do so i'll drop the table down a little bit like so. Stick the chuck in there that won't stay up there. Just so it holds under its own weight. Get my trusty hydraulic jack. Center it up on the chuck. And you'll say, no, 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 don't do that, Pete. Well, we'll see if we can... Uh, Make it so she doesn't fall out on me next time, eh? 
Now, you see that moving that up there? I wouldn't do this on a new drill press or any stretch of the imagination, but for what we're doing, it's quite fine and we won't get too carried away. But if it starts moving down on your table, if your table starts moving down a little bit, just block it up with a piece of water or something underneath it and that'll uh, solve that problem. So, see how we go. Don't go too hard, just until you can hear it going. <laughs> Take them out. So here we go again, Pete. Take two. See what happens this time. It didn't come off my drill, <laughs> but the chuck's still on there. Screw that back in there, Pete. Well, I don't think that's going to come off in a hurry, guys. It's um, on that really tight now. See that? I can actually pull that down now. now. So anyway, that's my bush fix. So anyway, guys, that's what I did. So hopefully it won't fall out and hit my bloody hands again like it did the other day. So guys, that's my bush fix for the old drill press. I wouldn't do that if you got a new drill press, of course. But mine's, like I said, about 100 years old, same as me, so we'll just keep it going for as long as we can. Anyway, guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. You might have a better way of doing it than me. And we'll see you next week, eh? See you later. Keep safe.